Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Muhammad Anif Fahmi from Group 1 from Synchronization and today our team going to present for assignment BERG4823 which is a topic about explore on frame synchronization using BPSK. This is our team developer which is first is me Anif Fahmi we explain about abstract and objective project. Second is Zia we explain about coding on MATLAB. Third is Hasif we explain about result and discuss on frame synchronization. Abstract this video presents a comprehensive simulation study on frame synchronization technique in spread, spectrum system using binary phase shift keying BPSK modulation. The study evaluates the performance of various synchronization methods under different signal to noise ratio SNR and channel condition through MATLAB simulation. The focus is on assessing the effectiveness of code tracking and preamble based synchronization technique in achieve precise frame alignment, special for ensuring reliable data transmission in noise and dynamic wireless environment. Simulation results demonstrate that both code tracking and preable based method as he beat robust performance with high synchronization accuracy and minimal false alarm across varying SNR level and interface scenarios. Hello, my name is Ziad bin Zamri. I will explain a MATLAB coding for frame synchronization technique using BPSK communication system. First, we set up the important parameters such as the sample frequency of 100 kHz, the carrier frequency is 10 kHz, the frame size is 60 samples with a guard interval of 10 samples and a synchronization threshold of 0.5. Next, we generate random binary data and modulate it using a BPSK modulator. This creates our BPSK signal where bits are mapped to specific phase shift. Then, uh, we simulate the transmission by creating a carrier signal at 10 kHz and adding the torsion noise to mimic real world conditions. The receiver signal is the BPSK signal combined with the carrier and noise. To synchronize the frames, we perform peak detection by correlating the receiver signal with the original BPSK signal. The highest peak in the correlation indicates the frame boundary. If this peak accepts our threshold, uh, we say synchronization is successful. Finally, we visualize the result. The first plot shows the transmitted BPSK signal. The second plot shows the receiver signal with the carrier. And the third plot shows the correlation output for peak detection and frame synchronization. So let's see the result. Hello guys, this is Muhammad Asif bin Sulaiwi and today we are going to discuss about the result and discussion of frame synchronization. This assignment is to investigate the performance of frame synchronization utilizing the binary phase shift keying BPSK modulation technique as just demonstrated in the figures. As we can see, there are three types of result that we get. First one is transmitted BPSK signal, the second one is received signal with carrier and the last one is the peak detection for frame synchronization. The top subplot of figure display the transmitted BPSK signal. This signal comprises a sequence of bits mapped to specific phase shifts of the carrier wave. Eight positive and negative peaks correspond to the binary ones and zeros respectively. This mapping is crucial for the receiver to accurate interpret the transmitted data. The next one is the middle subplot of figure shows the receiver signal along with the carrier. The receive signal blue line is overlaid on the carrier with red dash line. Channel impairments such as noise and phase shifts cause the receive signal to exhibit variation in amplitude and phase compared to the ideal transmitted signal. This variation underscores the necessity for robust synchronization mechanics to accurate recover to the transmitted data. And the last one, the bottom subplot. It is illustrating the peak detection process for frame synchronization. The synchronization algorithm involves collating the receive signal with a non preference to identify the frame boundaries. The peaks in the collation output indicate potential frame boundaries. The highest peak as marked by the red dash line corresponds to the optimal frame alignment point. So, overall discussion is the frame synchronization method demonstrated here is an exceptional component of the PPSK communication system. It is an enabling reliable and accurate data transmission. Future work will involve the implementation of additive synchronization techniques to enhance performance in dynamically changing channel condition. That's all for me. Thank you for watching.